Hello everyone, John LaRufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and this time I'm coming to you from Essen. Can you believe that? Almost neither can I. And we're going to take a look right now at Alubri. All right, so this game, <clears throat> Lubari, pardon me, Lubari. This game was actually signed by Tony Boydell, which I'm very, very thankful for. Let's break it open and take a look at what's inside. All right, so I had to crack the shrink wrap here because there's no way I'm gonna do this one-handed and because I'm in a hotel room, I don't have any stands or equipment. But as you can see, this is a quite nice box. Um, very, very nice artwork. The back is quite uh, good at explaining what you're gonna do, what's gonna happen with the game, which is nice. Um, so let's take a look at what's inside. Already my, my impression of it is quite good. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do this. We're going to have to just break it open like this, folks. Okay. Starts out with a nice looking rule book. <clears throat> well illustrated. Good looking rules. You know, no problems playing and learning this. We have a lot of good examples here. So that's always appreciative. Uh, break down the cards. And of course, you know, my favorite, this guy right there, the solo play. I love it. All right, now inside the box, but we actually before that, mine came with a couple of promo cards, which is pretty good, the Chai Boiler. And we're gonna have a time and a half opening these up. One hand, so we're gonna do it like this. Again, that's what happens when <clears throat> you do so from the hotel. Okay, so a couple of different things in here. Like I said, we have the Chai Boiler. Looks like um, an assistant and the post train and the town market. So those came with my copy that I got here. All right, then we have some nice cardboard here for the chits. The uh, thickness looks like it's a little bit on the thin side, not too bad, but a little bit on the thin side. Should be okay though, I think from the tea leaf standpoint. This large looking board, this thing already feels like it's got some heft to it. Just trying to get it out of here, big board. Big board. All right, let's see what this thing looks like here. Bring that up. So there is no joke about it. This guy is a table hog, which is totally fine. We don't mind table hogs. All right. I know it's upside down here, folks. Let's turn around. Look at this guy, man. You're gonna need the whole kitchen table for this, buddy. I tell you what. But it's got some of the similar kind of feel to it um, from some of his other games. Looks like a little rondelle here, which will be for the actions, I'm sure. Trains, some resource spots, some pre-printed looking cards on there. Overall, pretty good, pretty functional, very clean. I like that. And then let's see what else is in this box here. So we've got a little bag right there, decent quality. All right, and then a ton of meeples here. Whole bag full. A whole bag full of wooden components. I knew there must be cards hidden in there someplace and a pack of cards over here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. Got a little score pack right there. Insert, looks like a little self-assembly. Not a big deal, but no problem. All right, let's see what we get here inside the bag. And one-handed operation for opening. Not the easiest thing in the world to do, but bear with me, folks. Okay, so inside this bag, we have ourselves plenty of wooden components. Pretty standard there. Standard discs, standard you know, little custom meeples. I shouldn't say standard, they're custom meeples. Those look pretty good. <clears throat> Looks like maybe probably one for each of the player colors, perhaps, and some wooden cubes right there and then some more components okay what do we got what do we got all right looks like the resources over here same and same all wooden all high quality good stuff right there no problems at all and then this pack of cards we're going to go ahead and see What's in this pack of cards? See how well it open or it uh, they feel the thickness and all that stuff. So we'll pull that open there. 
Okay. All right, these have a nice feel to them, nice finish. Good quality cards, not thin at all. Kind of feels like um, probably the same kind of quality you'd get with his old Snowdonia game. Some of you may have seen or played or possibly own. So let's see what we get here. So we've got different cards, we've got different trains. Oh, very fine train, very fine indeed. Happy Valley Tea Estate, lots of good stuff. Very clean, very crisp, the artwork really reminiscent of what you expected from, or what you may have seen from Snowdonia way back when. So really good stuff here. I'm overall very happy with the components and uh, it also looks really fun to play. So can't wait to get this to the table and give it the old S and try. All right, again, thank you very much. John LaRufa with an unbiased unboxing from all the way across the world at Essen, Germany. Thank you.